Hello and welcome back to a new series of Inventor Tips and Tricks. Today I'm going to show you how to place multiple fittings, uh, placing by usual, by the usual place command, but only bring in one at a time. Um, I have a lot of George Fisher fitting that I like to place, and because the catalog doesn't offer the full dimension, I just like to get the step files, um, open them in Inventor, author them as Steven Pipe and save them in a the library and I usually place them from there but um, sometimes I need to add a, edit these files like uh, changing some of the eye properties and the best way to do this I found is in using the assembly bit of materials. So usually when you start a new assembly if you use the place command from the assemble tab place and you try to window select and place multiple it would only bring in the last one selected and that's because uh, these are tube and pipe authored fittings so let's undo that for a second and the trick here is to use drag and drop you select them and you drag them into inventor and voila you have them all even though they don't have the blue T icon on the browser, it doesn't mean they're not um, tubing pipe fittings. In fact, if I use place fitting, you notice that I haven't even started the tubing pipe environment, but the command is still active and it will behave. You see it's snapping. You see that? So I can, in fact, place them as regular fittings. Um, so then you start the bit of material and then I can sort and then I'm just going to copy and hit paste and that's it. As soon as I click done, now I can save them all. And usually um, if I need to change the authoring information, I do it from here. Just double click one, change the authoring information, double click next change the authoring information, and so on and so on. And then right at the end, I go back and I hit save. And it's gonna save all the files. And this is it. I'll see you all next time.